Lately, there's been a lot of discussion about yield curve inversions and the risk of a recession. However, to determine recession risk, there are indeed additional data points on which we need to focus. In this latest edition of LPL Street View, we are going to take a look at our statistical interpretation of a comprehensive indicator that we believe can help pinpoint recession risk. To be clear, yield curve inversions are an important component to measuring the risk of a recession, but they are not the sole component. In fact, a yield curve inversion measure, the difference between the Fed funds rate and the 10-year Treasury yield, is only one of the 10 components that make up the conference board's leading economic indicators index. We believe these leading economic indicator components taken together give us a broader perspective of the economy's underlying strength. And while we do take note of yield curve inversions, we also closely track the leading economic indicators index as perhaps a more comprehensive guide to determining recession risk. Today, many of the components of LEI are relatively strong, leading us to believe that a U.S. recession may not be in our immediate future. To get a keener look at LEI, we also track the slope of this index to determine the momentum behind the economy. This illustration tracks the three-month and six-month moving average of the index slope to pinpoint the time at which the momentum in the index has completely turned. This is signified by these averages moving below the zero line in the graph. If we look back through history, we note that moves below the zero line in this graph have many times, but not always, coincided with recession periods. Today, this study tells us that the leading economic indicators are still rising, but at a decelerating rate, signified by both lines remaining above zero, but the trend in the lines has indeed changed. This work tells us that while economic strength is not what it once was at its post-COVID peak, the overall components of the leading economic indicators index remain relatively strong. This leads us to believe that a U.S. recession may still be a ways off. And for us at LPL Research, the movement of these two lines could help us determine when a U.S. recession may be at hand. Thanks for listening. And as always, allocate wisely.